Thanks all for uh, watching my wacky uh, introduction to um, this uh, boxing bag review. Um, I hope you like it and let's get on with it. During COVID, um, the COVID lockdown, I was basically stuck at home like everybody else was and uh, I was bored, I was frustrated and all I was doing was going straight to the fridge, eating, you know, and then coming back and sitting on the couch for ages. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. And um, I thought I'd, I really need a solution for this. And I started looking on the internet and that's where I found uh, this Bob Dummy. So um, this Bob Dummy helped me really uh, channel all my frustration and anger about being locked down and also um, kept me fit while I had all these um, food cravings. Being in Australia, I couldn't purchase the Century Bob. It seemed that um, on Amazon, etc., it was all sold out or unavailable. And I think you can still import it from the States to Australia, but the, um, the shipping would have been astronomical. So I, I didn't go down that route. So, but I'm happy I bought this Australian version of Arrow Bob. There's some things that I really like about it. So the advantages of um, this Arrow Bob version is that the head is actually pretty hard and it, it, it's basically like a proper, proper head. You know, you've got like a really strong chin. Um, you've got a really strong temple and side of the face and the forehead. It's, it, it's pretty solid and it feels like a real person. Uh, unlike the Century Bob, which I think I've seen a lot of the videos that the head flops around a lot. So it doesn't give you much resistance to a punch. Uh, but check that out in the shops you saw if you happen to have a fitness store nearby where you can compare different types of dummies. This uh, Bob has a, a silicon type body and it, it's pretty, it's kind of like a strong silicon plasticky type feel. Uh, I don't think you can rip this by punching or kicking it. It's pretty solid and I've got to say this arrow Bob, it's really high quality. The, the only thing I, I, I kind of, the only disadvantage is that this nose, it's actually really hard and you can't even, I don't know if you can see, but you can't even push it through and like really squeezing it. I'd say if you were trying to punch this without using any boxing gloves, you'd probably damage your finger if not breaking it. But if you're punching it with gloves, then you've got no problem. Um, that's kind of the only thing I would probably alter this for the future manufacturers to, to note. So uh, basically the height of this dummy is uh, 174 centimeters from top to bottom. And uh, the width from shoulder to shoulder, it's about 50 centimeters. So uh, with this dummy, the only sort of disadvantage uh, that I can say, it's not adjustable for height. But if you have some kids that also want to train some martial arts, uh, it probably won't suit them. And you, you probably need to get something that's adjustable that can bring it down a, a bit of a notch. Otherwise, there'll be a lot of like uh, groin punching going on with uh, this one. So yeah, think about that. Okay, let's check out the back of the um, arrow bob. As you can see, there's no protruding nuts or bolts or anything like that from the back, which is nice and clean. Um, and if we look at the sentry bob, we can see here um, there's a couple of bolts coming out of the back. But best is check the website to make sure um, the current up-to-date version has been improved or changed. So the bob basically comes in uh, three parts. You've got the top um, top half here, and that screws into uh, a rubber tubing, uh, which provides flexibility for the bob flexing back and forward. And that then screws into the base. Okay, so there's two methods to fill the base up, and um, you can either use water or uh, sand. Uh, water is kind of a lot easier. You can just put the hose in and then just fill it up. And then when you want to remove it, you can use the, um, the hose again to siphon the water back out. But uh, sand is going to be a lot more heavier, holding the base, supporting it more and stopping it from sort of rocking back and forward. With the sand, it's a bit more harder to remove. You probably need some kind of vacuum, a shop vac uh, to be specific. Um, or you need a, you know, a lot of people to sort of lift the base up and spill the sand out. The next thing you probably need is like some kind of rubber flooring mat um, and just be careful with buying the rubber mats 
went to the hardware house at Bunnings and picked a rubber mat and I brought it home and it actually stunk out the room. The smell was so powerful. Like I had to, you know, leave it outside for a few days and that still hasn't got rid of the smell. So temporarily I'm using another kind of um, sort of overlay foam mat. It's not the best, but um, it sort of does the job for the moment. Otherwise, if you don't really use a rubber mat and you've got tiles, etc., like that, it's going to scratch your floor um, because every heat that you do does move the bag, you know, slightly forward and backwards. Also, I highly recommend buying yourself some kind of um, gloves um, with, a, with some kind of wrist uh, wrap and then buying some heavy boxing gloves because um, what you want to do is have as much protection for the hands as possible. So yeah, basically I'd highly advise um, seeking some kind of professional to show you how to wrap um, your wrists up and the correct protection that you need for your hands and uh, that way it will just prevent any future injuries. So let the fight begin. Having this Arrow Bob dummy, um, it's just so much fun. Uh, you can fulfill all your martial arts fantasies out on this. Um, if you're a professional martial artist, grab the heavy bag and buy this as a supplement. Um, but if you're just out there to have fun and you know just fulfill your martial arts fantasies, this is the one that you need. Um, you know, am I a professional martial artist? No. Have I watched Kickboxer and Bloodsport a thousand times? Yes. <laughs> So definitely go out there and it will keep you fit and you'll have a lot of fun doing so. So thanks for watching and I hope you had fun uh, watching the review. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask and um, have a good one. See ya.